Do you suffer from low iron? Are you tired? Maybe your muscles are always sore. Maybe you get dizzy without actually knowing what causes the dizziness. Or what about headaches? After I've done a ton of research, I'm finding that most people could be low in iron. Now, yes, it could be caused by other things, but low iron is what I suspect that most of our members here at Fit Club could be going through, and which is causing a lot of those problems, especially those that are doing multiple workouts in a day. But before you do anything, I'd always just suggest to go see your doctor, get some blood work done, and see if you're actually low in iron. Okay, so now you're going hardcore, you're in a belly burn, you have goals, right? Summertime's coming, you wanna get that body fat down, so you're increasing the amount of workouts that you're doing throughout a day. Now here's the thing, is that as you increase the amount of workouts you do, your body actually demands more iron. So the average female requires between 18 and maybe up to 20 milligrams of iron a day, men between eight and 10 milligrams a day. So if you're a female between the age of 19 and 50, and you're working out hardcore, well, think about it. The average woman isn't working out two to three times a day. And so as such, your iron needs are a lot higher. Now here's what iron does. It's actually the molecule that binds with oxygen that gets delivered from your lungs to your muscles. So if you're depleted of iron, guess what happens? Your body isn't going to be able to transport oxygen to the muscles. It's going to decrease the recovery. It's going to decrease the amount of muscle growth that you're going to get. But overall, you're probably going to need to start supplementing with iron. Another thing is that you lose iron in your sweat. Yes, we've heard about replenishing your electrolytes, but when it comes to high intensity training where you're lifting weights, doing battle ropes, pushing sleds, or whatever it is, a hit class, especially here at Fit Club, then guess what happens is your body is starting to lose iron through your sweat. So not only are you losing iron from the demand of oxygen to your muscles, but you're also losing iron through your sweat. All right, here's another finding is that females need an extra three to five milligrams during their period, okay? You're losing blood, you're losing some iron into the period, so you, no matter what, you have to naturally increase the amount of milligrams that you're consuming every single day. If you're working out hard and you sweat lots, then you probably need much more. So here's some good sources of iron. Red meat, poultry, fish, beans, lentils, tofu's good, fortified cereal, spinach, and other leafy green vegetables. Now, if you put a comparison of 100 grams of meat next to 100 grams of spinach, they both provide 2.7 milligrams of iron. But here's the catcher, and especially for you plant-based athletes, is the difference between meat and plant-based iron is that meat is a hemi-iron and plant-based is a non-hemi-iron. So what does that mean? Is that meat is better absorbed into the system. So you might be getting the same amount of milligrams of iron per 100 grams of meat versus plant-based, but your body isn't absorbing all of the milligrams that you need. So you might be thinking that you're hitting your numbers, but you probably aren't, especially if you're doing most of your iron from plant-based sources. So you can start by taking iron, iron supplements just like this, very cheap. You can find it on Amazon or we have it here at the gym. My recommendation is to just start with 20 to 25 milligrams and you shouldn't notice really any side effects. More isn't better. Start there, see how it feels. For me, I do 75 to 100 grams of spinach, half a cup of ice, one scoop of the greens, which has the EAAs in it, which is a super, fit, super food mix. And it adds that iron from the spinach, but then it also adds the taste from the greens supplement. So there we have it, guys. If you're working out hardcore, if you're not consuming enough red meat, then there's a good chance that you could be low in iron and it could be the root cause of your low energy, muscle soreness, or headaches. So my recommendation is go get your blood work done first, see where your levels are at, and if you're low, start supplementing with iron. Give the video a like, throw a comment if you're already taking iron supplements, and then hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. See you on the next video.